Hey y'all, it's me Haven. Um, I am back with a kind of a large haul. Um, I don't want to call this a Black Friday haul because some of these things were from Black Friday. Sorry. Oh. Um, <laughs> work. Some of these things were from Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you know, the whole weekend of uh, sales. And some things I purchased right before Thanksgiving, but they were, it was a really great sale or obviously I just would have waited. Um, but I guess I could call this like a sale haul <laughs> because these are all recent as in like, um, these purchases are all recent since my previous video, which is only about a week ago, I think. Um, and I know it's going to seem like a lot. I, I, I feel like it's a lot, but I, like I said in the other video, I really have not done a lot of shopping at all this year. And, um, it's just such a great time for sales. I, I, I you know, if you if you like to, to shop, and especially like me, online shopping, I love online shopping. This is just, I'm sorry, my bangs. It's time for bang trim. What would one of my videos be without me complaining about my bangs? <laughs> um, but anyways, you know, you just kind of can't pass up this time of, this time of year, uh, as far as the sales go. So, uh, let's, so basically, I have things from, and I'm going to probably do a part two because I am waiting on two dresses from Eloquii that I got on their Black Friday, Cyber Monday um, sale, and they were having great. It was like 50% off the everything, and then if you spent $125, you got an additional 10% off, which I didn't get the additional 10% off, but 50% off everything, even new even new arrivals is, you know, it's great. Um, so anyways, let me start. So I, yeah, I'm going to probably do a shorter part two, um, but I wanted to put this stuff up. So I didn't want to wait for everything. Um, but I have Elaine Bryant and I have ASOS. Full disclosure with the, if you guys can hear that, that's my work email dinging. Um, not full disclosure. I do have I did get two more bags from ASOS on the sale, and I guess I'm kind of like, I am having, no, I'm not having buyer's remorse because I loved these bags, and I had them in, I mean, I had them on my saved list from ASOS for a pretty long time. I mean, not terribly long because um, one of them is pretty recent, but I, um, I, I was thinking about that this morning, still trying to kind of like justify it to myself. Um, but, you know, I don't have any designer bags. I don't have any um, at all designer bags. And so, you know, I mean, honestly, for what a designer bag costs, I can get, you know, tons of bags from like ASOS or River Island. Um, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. But um, I think the last time I actually bought like a day-to-day -day handbag um, was the Black Friday Thanksgiving sale from ASOS last year. So anyways, I did get two more bags. They were both 30% off. That was the ASOS special. Um, and one of them I have had in my cart for a couple of months. Anyways, let me go ahead and show those first. Um, okay, so the first one, I just want the tag on this. Let me tuck the tag. This is the one that I have been eyeing the longest. It is real leather. Uh, which is nice, and it was regularly $144. And so that's why I've wanted this bag for so long because I just think it is just a classic, classic bag. It's exactly my style. I love just the kind of minimalist silhouettes, but then it's kind of a little edgy with the chain hardware. Um, the inside is this beautiful, I want to call it like a sienna color. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's the black, the back is just, you know, solid. And then the front is that same material. And then here you can see it's kind of that like snaky print again. Love this bag. Um, a couple of, not criticisms, but, you know, definitely a bummer when I got it and I didn't realize is there is not one pocket in this entire bag, not one zipper pocket. And that, I, I don't really understand why they didn't put one in. I mean, 
I have like a makeup bag and a coin purse and a, I don't carry a wallet. I carry like a card holder. Um, but still like my cell phone and I don't know. It just seems weird that there's not a pocket. So I, that does not turn me off enough to send it back. Um, but that's definitely a, a downside for me. Um, the other thing is the top, it latches with this magnetic um I yeah, put this down. I um I prefer bags and I don't really use the zippers a lot, but I do prefer bags that have a zipper, especially when I'm like traveling on a plane or something and you know and you put your bag in front of you, sometimes they kind of you know tip over or something, or in the car your bags tip over sometimes and I just I like the security of being able to completely zip my bag if I feel the, you know, if I if I want that extra security and that doesn't have that option. Not sending it back, I still love it, but those are definitely like, um, sorry my bags. Those are definitely two critiques I have of that um, of that bag. The second bag I got is from River Island, purchased on ASOS, and they had another bag. Like, okay, I've had this saved since since before I got my most recent bag, which is, oh, my chair is sitting on it. Shoot. But anyways, the one I showed in my last video, um, I had this one. I think I even mentioned this is the one I, I had been eyeing, um, but then I went ahead and got that other one, which, oh, sorry. Yeah, this is the other one. Um, but anyways, uh, the day, like, I think the day before Thanksgiving, they released another bag similar to this from River Island. And it was just kind of like, instead of the patchwork, it kind of just had chevrons. And it was mostly this orange and blue uh, suede. And I think maybe there was some suede in this color. I'm not sure. And oh my word, I agonized over which one to get. Um, the other one was, I feel like it's a touch more tasteful, and I just like, this one's just funky, and I, I like it. I like the inside of the strap has that orange. I love, I love this little pop right here of, like, the python print with the, the baby blue in it, and, um, yeah, I, I like this one. Again, this one does not have a zipper. It has this giant fold over, and then um, there is a, let's see, there is a divider, um, pockets on the side and then a zippered pocket inside. But anyways, um, I decided to go with this one. What what tipped me over for it was I was I knew I wanted to get one of those two bags. And this is River Island ASOS. It was seventy five dollars and I got thirty percent off. Um, and you know it has like the gold hardware accents and um, doesn't have little feet, but that's okay. And then the back is just that material. But um. What tipped me over was I had had that bag like in my saved list for a while and then I put the, the other one I was just talking about like the chevron in there too and I was just going back and forth. Which one should I get? Which one should I get? And um, this, the one I got, went out of stock. And like, as soon as it went out of stock, I was like, that's the one I really wanted. And so then like I just said, oh, you know, over it. And I knew the sale was going to go till Tuesday. So I think this was like Friday. I clicked out and Saturday I went back in and they, it had come back in stock. So I got, it. um, anyways, that was my, that's my bag saga. So I am done with bags for a very long time. Um, but I like those two bags. There's a couple of like things I would change. I'd put a zipper top, you know, on both of them and stuff like that. But if you're looking at both of them, cause you know, they are going to have sales to come up again for Christmas, Christmas Eve, New Year's. Um, so I definitely recommend both of those. Um, I got some like random silly stuff from ASOS too, but I thought I'd show. Um, I got this, I still have an iPhone 5 because it looks just fine. Um, but I got this cat. I have a black cat, if you guys didn't know. Love cats. Um, I just have the one kitty, but he's amazing. And I just like cat stuff. So I got this like jelly foam case, black hat, little tail in the back. This was by the ASOS brand. And I did not get this on the Black Friday sale, but I got that this pretty recently. I just wanted to show it though. It's also the ASOS brand and it's one of those liquid foam cases. Um, isn't that cute? I also, there's a brand on ASOS called Skinny Dip and they have some really nice ones. Um, 
you want to check those out. And let's see, oh, the other thing, <laughs> I know, too many cats, right? Too much cat stuff, but I got that cat keychain from ASOS. I just thought it was so cute. And I really do like the way you don't have to like totally mess your nails up. You can just put them on like that. And then I've had this, I got this, for, I asked for this as a stocking stuffer last Christmas, but I just thought I'd show it to you. Um, this is a keychain, obviously, and it's a cat face. And they also make them in dog faces. Looks really similar to this, but you can just tell it's a dog. Um, and they come in all different colors, and it's this very hard, hard, like, plasticky material. But anyway, it's like for, you know, if you're, if you have to park in, it's for self-defense. So technically, you know, if somebody tried to go behind you when you're getting in your car or whatever, you could shut their eyes. <laughs> so these are really good. Just look for, like, self-defense cat keychains online if that's something that interests you. And they're not expensive, and, um... I don't know. Whenever I do walk, the, I live in Wilmington, North Carolina, and there is this really gorgeous, like, historic downtown area, um, and there's lots of restaurants and shops. I mean, it's just great. It's right on the Cape Fear River, but there are some pockets of really not good areas, and there's lots of parking decks, but I like to walk, and I like to not pay for parking, too, so sometimes I kind of park more like out of the business portion and I walk at night um, and I just this makes me feel a little bit better even though I really shouldn't do that okay let's see um, ASOS I got these rings the brand is pieces they are just these like you know bar rings it came it was a set um, the gold and then like this I don't know what color that is but it's kind of like a greeny Peel. Um, they're, they're fine. Did I need to spend the money on them? No, but I did. <laughs> um, I kind of had buyer's remorse after after that, but they were like $10 and then I got 30% off. So, Okay, let me show you. I got a few. I got very little clothes from the ASOS sale. Shift. I like this sweater, but every time I look, it's just so... I just think I, you know, it's just so big. <laughs> um, but it's so comfortable. Okay, I've got a few things clothing-wise. I've definitely been into, as you can, sorry, one second here. My, I also got this necklace. Let me show you this necklace real quick for me. So, so I had fallen. You guys, you if you've seen my videos, you know I like tassel gold. I, I, like, I wear a lot of long necklaces. And um, here's one from ASOS. It's called the Gold Bar. Cute. You can wear this with anything, and I love putting a long necklace on. I also got this one. Let me show you guys. Um, this is the new look. This is got two little like leather look tassels on the bottom. I mean, I highly doubt they're real leather. Even the clasps that wrap around the tassels are cute. Isn't that cute? Um, and it's just a gold chunky chain. You can, you know, you could do it like that. Twist it over. Uh, make it like a choker. I don't like. Ugh. I wish if I was gonna do that, I wish they hung a little bit longer. But I don't want this one like rest right on my chest. <laughs> um, but I just, or you could even like just leave it down. You could um, tie it the way I had it, but you could do like a really uneven. But I just kind of like it even, and I just, I just do that. There you go. Um, but that one, that's still on the site. That's from New Look on ASOS. But anyway, clothing-wise, I saw a lot of really beautiful maxi dresses on ASOS and, um, excuse me, I kind of wanted to get them, but they were expensive. And I have really been trying to buy more basics and then have fun with, like, bags. And I have a lot of shoes and accessories and have fun with makeup and, um, you know, and I guess I really made me notice when we moved this summer. So we moved. We, like, doubled our square footage from where we were li living to the house we bought. However, it's the house is, like, a mid-century ranch. So it's um, from 1966. So the closet space, uh, the, the place we were renting was new. And so it had, like, huge walk-in closets and everything. And here, it's, you know, there's no walk-in closets. So... 
I did get rid of a lot of stuff and I really just kind of had to be honest with myself and there's so many beautiful dresses and, and things like that, but I have a very casual lifestyle. Even, I mean, in downtown Wilmington, you can go out. There's play, really nice restaurants. You can get more dressed up, and I do. But, I mean, some of the maxi dresses I was looking at on ASOS were like, you know, they were over $100. And, and my husband, he's a very casual guy, too, you know, and that's another, that's another thing. Um, I... I wear whatever I want, but I like to look, you know, I like that. I like a balance. You know, if he's wearing like jeans, a t-shirt and flip-flops, I'm not going to wear like, you know, heels and this long maxi dress and all done up. I mean, I can and I've done it before and I just, I feel kind of, it feels unbalanced to me. And so anyways, I've, I got rid of a lot of things that weren't relevant to my lifestyle. And so I've been trying to, you know, stick more with that. This is a very rambly haul. This might be my most rambly haul. I'm, I've had a lot of caffeine this morning. Okay, so the first thing, let me just show you. i got three dresses, and let me show you. The, they're all either, there's two black and, oh, wait. i got two, three dresses and a bodysuit. Um, black and white, that's all. The first dress, I have been eyeing this for a long time. It's called the Sexy Square Neck Midi Dress. Um, it's longer than I thought, but it's just this black, you know, I think the neck would be really pretty though. It, you know, it comes down, you can see. And I love the three quarter length sleeves. This material, it'll be fitted but flowy on the bottom. I think it'll be really sexy. I'm worried about the length. I have my uh, shipping slip because when I, I haven't tried this on yet, um, I, if I, if, if I wanna wear it with like tall boots under it, um, but if the, <clears throat> if the length, I'm not gonna get it hemmed because it wasn't even that expensive and then I got 30% off. I'm not going to pay like 18 bucks to get it hemmed. So if it's too long, but I think the longer look, even though I'm short, you know, 5'4", I think the longer look looks good when you have like tall boots, you know, underneath it. It's kind of in right now, I guess, but we'll see. Uh, the other thing is, here's the bodysuit I got. This is a repeat. I already have this one, but I got a backup because I love it so much. It's from ASOS. I always size... I got an 18. I always get an 18 in my body suits. Last year, Forever 21 had, oh, I bought so many, but I can't find them in the move. I think I packed them up like in the boxes I wasn't gonna go in for a while. Um, but I always get like a 2X when I'm normally a 1X in Forever 21. And normally I'm like a 14, 16 ASOS curve and I always get an 18 in body suits just cause I don't want them going up my, <laughs> I don't want them going up my, my butt. <laughs> but anyways, it's this high, like not a high neck, but it's a, it's not a turtleneck or a polo neck, but it, it comes up here and it's got long sleeves. It's very sexy. I just put it with a black skirt, put it with jeans, put it with a fitted skirt. Love this. So I got a backup and this is by the ASOS friends. Okay. And then the last two dresses are the same style. I got this one. It's just, it's called the, it's a high neck sleeveless empire. So I guess this, the seam comes right under your bust. Just like a skater dress. I got a size 16. I like the length. It's not midi, but it'll come to my knees, knee length. And then I got it in white, obviously. Though, and it's, I don't care, like wearing white during the winter time or after Labor Day or whatever. That I don't care about. But I pay attention more to materials, fabric. Um, there's some fabric, so I don't pay attention to colors, but there are some fabrics that are definitely summery fabrics. And then there are fabrics that, are suited more towards cold weather. And this is definitely, it's a little, it's gonna be a little see-through, but um, anyways, it's just cute. It's, this dress will be great in the summertime. Okay, that is, I want to, I wrote all this stuff down, so I didn't wanna forget. Yes, that is everything from ASOS. Okay, um, Lane Bryant. And I have two pair of boots from Lane Bryant. And then I have a ton of sweaters because the sweaters were, the, the sweater deals I got were amazing. Um, before I do that though, let me just show you this because this and where is it? Oh, this, okay. This, this sale is still going on. It goes on until December 6th. So I, you, I have used this, this company's moisturizer. It's Tatcha. I'm not exactly sure how to say it. It's Japanese. Um, for over a year now and um, 
I started off using their moisturizer and then I, I used their eye cream and I use, they have this like um, firming serum for your face and I use that. They always just package it so beautifully. But once a year, they do a 20, oh yeah, I have, they always send samples and I save them for um, travel. But anyways, um, they always package everything so beautifully. <clears throat> They are not inexpensive. They are, they are very, look how pretty that is though. This is the, my moisturizer and it comes with a, a little spoon on top, which I never use, but I just think it's so pretty. But um, they are, they are not cheap, but once a year, it a little goes a long ways. And once a year I stock up when they have their 20% off everything and free shipping um, in the US. So it's, the website is, well, here, it's just Tatcha.com. Anyway, so what I, you know, I know that facial products are a very personal thing. And so what I really wanted to show you was this. Now, this I already had. I am waiting on, I ordered a backup. Um, gosh, you can't see that. I ordered a backup, but it's not here yet. It is, though, I saw this. I saw this on the, you can order this on the Sephora website. Um, and that's where I got it the first time. And then, because it wasn't time for me to order more, more moisturizer. And then I saw this, and I know how good of a brand they are. And this was a new product. And so it is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And um, so I went on to YouTube to see if anyone had reviewed it or anything. And I think her name, Jacqueline Hill, she had, and she was raving about this. I think her video was like from July or something. So I got it, love it. If you want a, um, apparently Kim Kardashian's makeup artist uses this too. Um, but if you want, you just, it's kind of like Max, Mac Fix Plus, but it's way more, it's got, um, shake gently before use, close eyes and mist onto face for an instant soothing hydration and silken radiant finish. It has really good properties in it for your skin. And I mean, if you want, if you like that dewy glow, glow, you would love this stuff. And anyways, um, if you'd heard about it and you just didn't want to pay the $48 it normally costs, if you go to their website from now until December 6th, they are doing their friends and family annuals, 20% off everything. And they have what the code is right there. Okay, so now let me go to Lane Bryant. I have a lot of sweaters. I'll move really fast. I have two pair of boots though that I want to show. Um, and I have I have another pair. I don't know why I've gotten like three bags, three boots. I have another pair of boots coming. Um, and I'll show those with the Eloquy haul. But I just want to show you guys in case, because I have wide casts and um, I'm just going to take one out on each for each boot. But just in case you guys were wanting to see them, because I you can leave reviews on Lane Bryant, which I always appreciate, but you can't, they don't let you um, attach pictures. God, that necklace has fallen again. And let's see how long this is. Ah, it's long. But anyways, y'all can fast forward if you don't like it or it's too long. These were regularly $79.95. And then I got these before Black Friday, the two boots I'm gonna show, but they were it was a good, a good special. Um, these have a little bit, so obviously they're black over the knee boots, but not crazy over the knee. Um, again, they, oh, and if you guys like, just FYI, if you guys like those kind of like lace up super sexy boots, Lane Bryant has a pair on their website. I wanted to get those, but then again, I was like, hmm, how often will I wear those? And I really, you know, wanted a pair kind of like this. But anyways, these are like a suede -ish material. They're black, they're over the knee. They have an inside zipper. They have a little bit of a platform, and then the heel is reasonable. The weird thing, though, to me is the back. It's stretchy, but it's like this, I don't know, can you guys hear that? It's almost like a clothing material. I've never had a boot with a back like that, but they're cute, they're cute boots. I think I got this boot for $65, um, which is a good deal. And that one's more of a dressy boot. And then the second boot I got is also black. These are these are okay. Um, I'll show you one thing I don't really care about them, care for about them, but it's I'm nitpicking, you know. 
it's not kind of like with the purse. I, it's not enough. I still want them. But um, these, I got another pair of black boots. These are not over the knee. They're not leather. They, I wish they were real leather, but they're not. They have the inside zipper going all the way down. One thing I do like is this part here is very structured. So you always get a little bit of a slouch in a boot, but it doesn't start to down here. I don't like it when it starts down here. Um, and it's got a wooden heel, which gives me more of a, I think it's a real wood heel too, but it just gives it a little bit more of a casual feel. Plus it doesn't go over the knee. Um, it does have a stretchy panel on the back. I do wish, the one thing if I could control, if I could change anything about this, two things. First of all, it wouldn't, I would have it not flare out so big at the top. Um, I probably will only wear this boot with jeans or leggings just because I don't like it too loose at the top if I'm wearing it with a skirt or a dress. I like it to be more fitted. Um, and then the other thing is the sole. It's like a, it's a rubber sole, which is nice. It has traction, but the outside of it looks a little, I don't know. It reminds me of something. Is it like a fireman boot or I don't know. It looks fine on, again, I'm nitpicking. Um, but I think I got this boot for $60 and it's just, a, it's a nice, it's a nice black boot from Lane Bryant. I really like their boots. They, they have my favorite, my favorite wide calf boots. So the rest I have are sweaters from Lane Bryant. That's the, the end of the haul. And I'm going to go pretty fast on them because I have, um, several sweaters, but only three different styles. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, the first one is there, and I have worn two of these, so they're going to look kind of worn, <laughs> but I haven't washed them. The first one is this, I love this color. I think it's a good color on me, um, but I just, it's the double v-neck sweater. I got this in a 1416, and it immediately, like, like immediately loosened up on me. So if you are, have you been, and they have these in many colors. The only thing I don't like, I don't like things with a band on the bottom. Just, I, I think I've mentioned that before. If you're, if you're a hippie, um, if you're a hippie, you know, it's not the, I don't know. I like things that kind of flow over my hips, not stop on them, but it's not, this color, I just love it. And Ann Taylor Loft had a color really similar, and it was a v-neck sweater, but theirs was so much thinner. It, it really felt like you need, it was a sweater for layering, and this one, obviously you could layer it, but it, it's a substantial enough to wear on your own, and I love a v-neck, and I love the double v, and anyways, I wish I could have gotten like a 12, but that's a good one. I got these sweaters for $20 each. Okay, the next two are their scoop neck sweater. I love them because they have... They don't have a band on the bottom. They just, they're long sleeve. They have a little bit of a split hem, scoop neck. I got an 18, here's the black one. I got an 1820, that was a mistake. Cause I wanted them to, I didn't want it to be too fitted over the hips, but I should have gotten the 14, 16. I got, I've already worn this one. I haven't worn the black one, but there's that color. So beautiful. I would say size down in those sweaters too. And then I just got these last night because I have my, that, the second pair of boots I showed you, they just came in. I always have everything shipped to the store for um, Lane Bryant so I don't have to pay because I live, oh, my necklace came undone because um, I don't have to pay shipping charges and I live like five minutes from the mall now. But um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Oh, so they had these sweat. Oh, it's real women dollars right now. So I had like a hundred dollars of real women dollars, and then this all tops and sweaters at Lane Bryant right now. I don't know how long it's going on for, but today is December third. Um, my husband's bringing the trash cans, and if you guys hear that, um, all sweaters and tops are buy one get one free. So I got um, I bought four sweaters. And one of the sweaters is a gift for my mother-in-law for Christmas. So I got four sweaters. Two of them were free. And then I had um, $100 of Roll Women's cash. Anyways, I saved like last night. And then I bought like, I bought four sweaters. And I bought a, like a nighty, like lingerie. They had some cute lingerie. 
Um, and I, anyways, I saved like $189. So, score. But these sweaters are just, they, they're so on trend right now. They just came out. They are this chunkier, chunkier v-neck, but it's just a one v-neck, long sleeves, um, with a split hem on the side. I got this kind of gray slash oatmeal color. Love that. I got it in, I love this color. It's kind of like just a muted version of the other green one from Lane Bryant, but I got it in that color. Well, that one's not really showing up. It's looking way more pale. Um, this one is way greener than it's showing up. And then the last one I got was this kind of charcoal color. And I got all of them in a 1416. And I also think, just from feeling the material, I also think that they would definitely, they're going to give a lot as soon as you put them on. Anyways, that is, thank you guys for, if you stayed on this a half hour, um, thank you guys for that. I, like I said, I know that this is a lot, but I really kind of have been um, saving up and, and waiting for these sales. And well, I, I wasn't planning on Lane Bryant. I knew I needed to get two pairs of boots because the last time I bought, I bought one pair of boots last year from Lane Bryant. They were real leather. They're the over the knee, the burgundy wine over the knee real leather boot and I wear them all the time. Love those boots. Um, but other than that, the, the last time I, it had been about two years since I had bought boots. So all of my boots are starting to look kind of ratty because um, they were just usually like Forever 21 boots that, you know, they're not going to stick around for very long. But they're not going to hold up. So I knew I needed to get some, but so I was, that was pre-Black Friday, but then all these sweaters, the deals were just incredible. But okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back. Like I said, I have um, two dresses from Eloquy that are fairly new to the Eloquy site. So I'll definitely try them on and let you guys know what I think. Eloquy always does sales. And then I have one more pair of boots from Lane Bryant. And they are beautiful. They're patchwork. So I hope that I like them as much in person. But I'll show you guys either way. Because um, it's so easy for me to go return now if I don't like them. It's right up the road. I hope you guys all had a good, happy Thanksgiving. And, you know, most importantly, it's not about shopping. It's about being thankful for all the, all the things we have. But I hope you guys had a good one. And if you did do shopping, I hope you got really good deals. And what you wanted was in stock. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.